in a village in China, snake farming has brought in great income. Zhangqiao village is famous for raising 3 million snakes to make snake wine to supply companies for domestic consumption and export. Thanks to that, the village's annual income is estimated to be up to 12 million USD. If you are curious about how Chinese people can make so much profit, join me to find out in the following video. Thanks to the experience of raising snakes which has brought my family a large source of income, I was successful in raising my first litter. By 2015, I continued to import more than 300 cobras and 100 buffalo cobras, and the size of the cage was also expanded to more than 32 square feet. The cages are designed to be closed. After more than 10 years of perseverance and effort, I built a snake farm. This is the first model to appear in the locality. Currently, the number of snakes on my farm has grown to thousands, of which cobras account for more than 90% of the total population. I know that the cobra is a venomous snake while the cobra is not, therefore when building a cage for cobras I need to build a closed cell. This helps the snake reduce stress and grow better. To choose good parent snakes I started importing snakes when they were 5 months old, then raise them for about 18 months until they entered the reproductive period. During this period, breeding snakes will be different from commercial snake farming because the cost of breeding snakes is less. On average, I will feed snakes three to five times per week. For commercial snakes I will feed them once a day with the main food being chicken waste from hatchery farms. On average, each snake will eat about 0.4 lbs of bait per time. Snakes usually start mating from late March to early April every year and after one month the snakes lay eggs. For each adult cobra, they will lay from 15 to 30 eggs time, while buffalo cobras will lay from 10 to 20 eggs. After the snake lays eggs, collect the eggs and bring them back to incubate by burying them in moist sand. During the incubation process, I take care not to let the sand get too wet or too dry. If the sand is too wet, the snake eggs will crack and be damaged and if the sand is too dry, the snake eggs will wither and not hatch. The incubation period for cobras lasts from 55 to 60 days, while for buffalo cobras it lasts from 68 to 72 days. After hatching, baby snakes will be collected and placed in foam boxes or tanks to be raised separately. To raise adult cobras safely and effectively, choosing the right food is very important. One of the popular options is to feed the cobra with ducklings. Ducklings provide a nutritious source of protein and can be an important part of a cobra's diet. When feeding ducklings to snakes, pay attention to the size of the duck compared to the size of the snake. Cobras often prefer prey that is not too large, otherwise it will cause difficulty in the snake's digestion process. Besides, Chinese people use digestive enzymes to mix into food to support the cobra's best digestion. Brings great economic benefits to farmers. Are you a cobra breeder? If so, please comment number one below the description. If you have any new feeding methods, please share them for everyone's reference. After the breeding process, do you know how many days it takes for the cobra to be harvested? In addition to raising cobras for meat, they are also raised for wine production in China. The time it takes for snakes to be harvested for meat is usually shorter than for snakes to be harvested for soaking in wine.
For the following reason, based on size, cobras used to soak wine often need to be larger to be able to hold more alcohol and other medicinal herbs during the soaking process. Snakes for meat can be harvested when they are younger. When enjoying mulled wine, choosing the right type of wine is important. White wine with a high concentration of 40 to 50 degrees is often the ideal choice. This type of wine not only brings a unique flavor but also can best retain the aroma and flavor of the soaked ingredients. During the soaking process, using a suitable soaking vessel also plays an important role. A glass or porcelain vase of the right size for the amount of soaking ingredients will help the soaking process take place most effectively. After fully preparing the ingredients, washing them with diluted salt water is the first step that cannot be skipped. In this way we can completely remove dirt and potential bacteria on the surface of the cobra. Chinese people will soak live snakes directly into wine bottles, or they will faint and remove their internal organs to help absorb herbs, bringing high value to the snake wine business. Snake wine, a popular specialty in China, not only brings a unique flavor experience but also has many health benefits. Prepared from snakes and herbs, snake wine is said to improve blood circulation, reduce muscle pain, and even relieve stress. The value of a bottle of wine ranges from 22 USD to 133 USD bottle. According to China Daily, China's snake wine industry is worth up to billions of dollars each year. Have you ever enjoyed the taste of Chinese specialties? If you have, please leave a like to let us know. Finally, you know that China has famous livestock farms, right? Today I will tell you a second secret, which is the most luxurious snake wine trading center here. Liji Street in Guangzhou, China, is not only a famous tourist destination but also a paradise for snake wine lovers around the world. With a reputation for the variety and quality of snake wine, Lichi Street attracts thousands of tourists every year to visit and shop. The snake wine shops here are not only famous for their variety of snakes and herbs, but are also known for their prestige and exquisite processing skills of artisans. Customers here not only have the opportunity to choose from top snake wine lines, but also receive professional advice on how to choose and use the products. With the combination of tradition and modernity, Lichi Street has gradually built and consolidated its position as the largest and most prestigious snake wine selling center, not only in Guangzhou, but also worldwide. The snake wine trade is not only a profitable industry, but also a bridge for trade and cooperation between the Chinese people and countries around the world. The export of snake wine from China has created an environment for multilateral cooperation, enhancing cultural and commercial exchanges between countries. Thanks to the popularity of snake wine, Chinese businesses have had the opportunity to expand export markets and find international partners. At the same time, the import of snake wine also opens the door for the exchange of culture and production experience between China and other countries. Thanks to this cooperation, Chinese people have the opportunity to increase their experience and knowledge of international markets and help promote the country's economic and social development. What about your country? What specialties are most impressive to international friends? Comment number one, if your family is using Chinese wine. Comment zero, if you like the way the people here raise livestock. Thank you for watching all of our videos. Click the like button and channel subscription button to watch the latest videos about the processing process.
Hatchtech FS2000 automatic egg incubation line of Hatchtech Company, USA, is leading the industry in the field of automatic egg incubation with modernity and outstanding performance. With the ability to incubate 2,000 eggs per day and a hatching rate of up to 95%, this line not only brings convenience, but also improves productivity and quality in the poultry industry. The line's operation starts from the egg receiving stage, where eggs are fed into the line through the conveyor belt. Here, eggs undergo quality checks to remove cracked or damaged eggs. This ensures that only high-quality eggs are selected to continue the process. The egg inspection stage uses an aerator, using ultrasound waves to check the eggshell thickness and their ability to aerate. Eggs that do not meet standards will be discarded while selected eggs will be pumped alive and hydrated before being placed in incubation trays. Each tray can hold 100 eggs and is placed on a conveyor belt to the area where they are stacked into complete blocks to be brought into the incubation room. The fully automatic incubation process takes place in incubators controlled by a computer system. This system helps strictly maintain environmental factors, such as temperature, humidity, and ventilation, ensuring ideal conditions for the development of chips. After the incubation process, Chicks are taken out by conveyor belts and sorted by size and weight before being transferred to the rearing area. This helps optimizing management and care for chicks in the most effective way. The outstanding advantages of this automatic egg incubation line include high productivity, 2,000 eggs per day, and a remarkable egg hatching rate, 95%. At the same time, it reduces labor costs, an important benefit in the livestock industry. It is expected that this automation can save about 100,000 USD per year just from reducing labor costs. An important first tip in modernizing chicken farming is to consider stocking density. While stock density on the floor usually ranges from 10 to 15 animals per square meter, the livestock density in cages ranges from 12 to 15 animals per square meter. This not only helps maintaining a healthy living environment for the chickens, but also ensures the quality of the final product. The livestock density is not simply a number, but affects the health of the chickens, as well as the quality of meat and eggs we consume. The suitable density helps reducing stress from chickens, preventing problems such as trampling and diseases, thereby improving productivity. The transition from the traditional system to the cage system marks an important step forward in the modernization of chicken farming. This not only helps optimizing space, but also helps controlling the livestock density effectively.
This transformation not only helps improving the living conditions of chickens, but also makes it convenient for farmers to manage and care for chicken flocks. At the same time, it also contributes to reducing environmental pollution, with an automatic system for collecting and processing chicken manure. Modern chicken farms not only stop at improving the living environment for chickens, but also take advantage of advances in information technology and automation. The automatic food supply system uses robots to deliver food to each cage, ensuring each chicken receives the necessary amount of food. This not only increases productivity, but also reduces the risk of lack of feed for chickens. In addition, the automatic drinking water supply system and automatic egg harvesting system both help reduce labor efforts, increase production efficiency, and reduces loss. The process begins with chicken's egg quality using an automatic machinery system. Eggs are judged based on size, weight, shape, cleanliness, and other factors. Eggs that do not meet standards will be automatically rejected, ensuring only high-quality products are selected. After inspection, the eggs are put through a washing process with clean water and mild detergent. This process not only helps removing dirt, but also kills bacteria and other contaminants, keeping the egg surface clean and safe. Specialized industrial dryers continue the process by drying the eggs. This process not only helps keep the eggs dry, but also prevents the growth of bacteria and preserves the quality of the eggs. Eggs are graded according to size, weight, and quality. This process ensures that each egg tray is uniform in size and quality, including the ability to manage and monitor product quality. Automatic machines continue to pack eggs into trays. This process helps ensure that eggs are packaged securely and safely, while optimizing packaging to meet market demand. Each egg is printed with a label with detailed product information, including product name, product date, expiration date, and other information to create transparency and trust for consumers. Finally, the eggs are transported to warehouses or supermarkets for distribution and delivery to consumers. The automatic packaging lines plays an important role in the egg production process. Although the initial investment value is about one to two million dollars, it brings many important advantages. It helps increase production productivity, reduce labor costs and time, Automated packaging helps ensure product quality and reduces the risk of contamination and damage during transportation. The automated packaging lines meets international food safety and hygiene standards, helping to ensure that the final product is safe and compliant with regulation. You have clearly seen modern advanced technologies in animal husbandry and production. Do you own such modern necklaces? Please support our channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.
and allow me to invite you to continue watching the rest of the video. Let's keep watching together. Elk farming is a rapidly growing sector in the United States. Elks, the largest herbivore in the Northern Hemisphere, play an important role in maintaining ecosystems and providing a food source for many other species. In recent times, the U.S. government has invested millions of dollars to develop the free-range elk industry, especially in states such as Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and Nebraska. The natural conditions in these areas are very favorable for the growth of elk. With a mild climate and plenty of grasslands and forests, this creates an ideal living environment, helping them grow strongly and reproduce well. Elk Herders focuses on providing the best habitat for their herd. This includes ensuring adequate space for them to roam and mow freely, along with quality food and clean water. Raising them in mountain and grassland areas has saved significant costs. Just choose a suitable location Use machinery to help build sturdy fences to ensure elk do not move to outside areas and run away. As a result, the free-range elk industry has been significantly profitable for its participants. Based on 2022 data, total revenue from the sale of meat Leather and related products is estimated to reach approximately $1.2 billion, demonstrating the attractiveness and the potential of this industry and the rural economy in the U.S. Raising free-range elk not only brings high profits to farmers, but also has many benefits for the environment. Elk meat is a rich source of protein and nutrients, while their skin is used to make a variety of products. In addition, they help maintain vegetation and control plant growth, minimizing environmental pollution. However, the free-range elk farming industry also faces a number of challenges, such as high initial investment costs and disease risks. There are also negative impacts on the environment, such as destroying habitats for other animals. Therefore, breeders need to consider carefully before participating in this industry to ensure the sustainability and equitable development of free-range elk farming. In addition to grass food, elk can also be supplemented with a number of other nutritional seeds to ensure their health and growth speed. The best time to feed nutritious nuts to elk is early in the morning, before they start foraging. At this time, the most stomach is still empty, and they will absorb nutrients from the grain better. In addition, breeders can also feed nutritious seeds to the elk in the evening, after they have gone foraging for food. At this time, the elks will have plenty of time the rest and digest their food. However, be careful not to feed the elks too much nutritious grains at one time, as this can cause the elks to experience bloating and indigestion.
The elks are usually given birth in the spring, from May to July. They give birth once a year, with each litter usually having one or two cups. The number of elk offspring produced each year depends on many factors, including environmental conditions, the health status of the mother elk, and the status of food sources. Baby elks are born with open eyes and are able to stand up after a few minutes. However, they still need some care from their mothers during the first few months of life. This time has warm weather and abundant food sources. The elk's gestation period lasts about 240 days, equivalent to 8 months. Female elks begin breeding when they are about 2 years old, while male elks usually start breeding when they are about 3 years old. The elks, as herbivores, play an important role in the ecosystem. They help maintaining vegetation and provides a food source for many other animals. This makes them an important element in natural balance and biodiversity. Elks also have the ability to live in the snow. Their thick fur plays an important role in keeping them warm during the winter. Their large legs helps them move easily in the snow and avoid sinking too deeply into the snow. The enlargement of legs is also an important factor in maintaining the ability to move effectively on snow surfaces. Additionally, elks have a habit of being active during the day when temperatures are warmer, which helps them optimize foraging. Additionally, gathering in groups helps them keep each other warm in cold conditions. Tourism has become an important part of the income stream for elk farms in the United States. Tourists have the opportunity to participate in sightseeing tours, enjoying up close experiences with elks, participating in recreational activities such as elk riding, hunting, and watch their mating process. Tours typically cost between $20 to $50 per person, while entertainment activities cost between $50 to $100 per person. Some of the farms that you can visit include Rocky Mountain in Colorado, Silver Creek in Misery, and Elkhorn in Nebraska. These farms are at the forefront of tourism. You will experience many interesting things there. Thank you for watching till here so far. And let's continue the rest of the video together now.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.